back to the channel. If you're only new here, I'm Kojnadi. And I'm Josh. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And make sure to turn on your post notifications because we post videos every single week. Alright, so today's video, I'm kind of going to be putting Kareem in like some sort of a hot seat today. I'm going to be asking her questions that guys are too afraid to ask their girlfriends or just women in general. So, are you ready for this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know are what you, kind are of you, How are you feeling? Are you nervous? A little bit. I don't know what kind of questions. Let's get going with our first one. When you're platonic friends with a man, do you want to be treated exactly how he treats his male friends? In terms of tone, the inside jokes, and the way time is spent? Or is there an ex expectation to be treated differently as a woman? Like guy friends? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. I think it might differ for other girls, but like I, I would say I like getting treated the same way as they would treat their guy friends, but like to a certain extent. There's like, a line. That, you know, don't get physical <laughs> with yeah. me, and like I'm sensitive, so if you go too far, then I might cry about it, but. I don't know. Other than that, like, I just want to treat it like they would normally treat their yeah, friends. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't know. That makes sense. That makes sense. Or, like, maybe it's a little different. Obviously, because I am a girl, it'll be a different kind of relationship that they would have with guys. But. Yeah. I feel, I feel like it's the same way with guys, too. It's like, no matter what, there's always going to be a difference. You're going to be a little bit more yeah. gentle, maybe. Yeah, and, big yeah. time. And easier with what we say. Yeah. You know, like, because guys, you, we're not easily insulted and that's how guys yeah. are we just insult each other all the time so it's like yes yeah. there's a line there's a bit there's a line now with periods oh okay a big <laughs> Hop in right into it is it a gush a small leak or more of a drip every so often that sounds gross yeah, okay that's what um, I mean. the guys are way too scared to ask this shit I think, okay, well, first of all, it, again, it's different for every girl because you have a lighter or heavier period. Mine is just all over the place, so I've experienced both. But I think, like, I don't know, like, a heavy period is like a drop, I guess. I don't know how often because half the time you don't even feel it come out of you. But, like, a heavy period, like, if I check my pad after an hour of wearing it or whatever, it'll be, like, full. So I'm guessing there's a drop coming out, like, every What about that consistency? Seconds or minutes. Is it just always like, like blood consistency or like? Yeah, well sometimes you get chunks in there. Like, but like on a light period, you might just get like drops here and there. I don't. It's never a stream. And like a gush, maybe that sounds disgusting. But like if you're like sitting down for too long, or like in the same spot for too long, and then you like move or get up, it all just comes out at just, once. You feel it. Or like when you sneeze. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're sneezing at both ends. Yeah. No. It, no, you poor things. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah. I don't oh know. no. Yeah, so it's just like all over oh, the place. Girl. But sometimes you don't even feel it, so. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I really did not know want to know that. What Do women that? put deodorants in their bo boob pits? I've never done that. I don't think mine are like. I, first of all, I'm not a sweaty person, so like I'm not really True. scared to like sweat too much or stink. Yeah, but yours don't like like. And like my boobs. So you don't really have a pit. Like yeah, like if I'm not wearing a bra, like my boobs are they're just normal size TMI. I don't know. They be they be they be perf perfect. They're just like yeah, unless I'm like wearing a bra. A bra. Like, anyways, yeah, I don't really, really have a pit. But I could see why some girls do it. Like yeah. if. You sweat and you're just scared to stink and whatever, but no. When you're in the bathroom and you see your pad is slightly spoiled, yeah. does it feel awkward having to put it back against your body? Yeah. I rarely do it though. Like, if I have to, like if I'm like in a public like, place and I have no nothing else. Or do you have like a way of like gauging it? You'd be like, ah, that's still got like an extra 30 minutes or so. That's like a level six. <laughs> Not really. I don't know. If I know my you like, just, you just, my period's heavy that day, then I'm like, oh, I should probably go change it the next hour. What if there's just like a few hours. drops? If there's just like a few drops and I'll just, And they're like low-key dry. Like, it's been a few hours. Yeah, I'll just keep it on. Yeah. If there's just a few drops, because I don't want to like just... But if you can see like the, shi the shine and the shimmer. Okay, yeah. Because it's like wet still. Yeah, but like... 
for hygienic reasons, like no offense, but it starts to stink if you're wearing the same tampon or pad oh, after a while. True, eh? So like, if I'm wearing something for a few hours and it's just a huge drop, I'm still gonna change it just because I don't want it to stink and it's just like not good for you. Oh, I didn't think of that too. I I didn't realize that it would probably stink too. Yeah, because it's like yeah. All right, this is a long one. Oh, okay. Do you have crushes? on random people you encounter that you don't really see anything developing with like someone you see every day but don't really talk to for some for whatever reason like my barista is insanely hot and i fantasize about him even though absolutely nothing is going to happen because of several very important reasons i assume this happens but have always wondered if it's more common with men what the heck okay well i'm in a relationship so no but i can understand like Okay, exempt yourself from a relationship. Like, imagine you- Okay, well, I don't do that. No, like, I don't have a crush on anyone, but I just mean, like, if I'm trying to think, like, before, or I can see, like, like, Some yeah. Something it. Like, I've, if I really, really like someone, that I only like that person, but, like, I could see that if you're just, like, kind of in the talking stage, you're just kind of keeping your options open, that you'd be like, oh, that person's cute, kind of, you kind of, like, have a little something. You know? No, but I feel like you're human. You know, you notice people. Yeah. You know, you notice no, a nice person. No, but that's person. not just like. Yeah. I'm not saying you find you have a crush on them, but like you 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 have a brain. All right. Okay. This one might not necessarily like 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 you might not be able to answer this question, but I'm still gonna ask it and see what you have to say about it. So I go to the gym and see women wear these sports bras that have like ten straps. While I think that it is a cool style, I wonder how they put it on and not get tangled with all the straps. There's my white one right there. Yeah, true, but some of them though, like you see it's like, there's no like solid back. It's just straight up straps everywhere. Like 15 different straps. Well, that one's kind of like that. But yeah, I know I get with like those kind of sports bras. I don't know. I feel like you've had a shirt, not a tank top, but you've had I a shirt. I feel like. That you had a hard time. No, but I never had a hard time. I just feel like girls are, a bunch of girls clothes if it's not like sweatpants or like some like some dresses some tops are just like so complicated to put on like girls clothes sometimes so i think we're just oh, used to like trying to like get it on but i always say if you struggle you just get better at it is what you're saying i don't know yeah i feel like everything's hard to put on i can okay. see you can struggle a little bit but like okay. not to the point of not wearing one. so you're saying there's most likely not a chance that people will get tangled up in it no, like maybe you'll mess up a few times. I don't know. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Maybe I'll try it. Oh. What? Why is it that when I get excited about a subject I'm passionate about, I sometimes get ex accused of mansplaining? Sometimes I just really like a subject and want to talk about it. I'm not being a dick. I just suck at social cues. And unfortunately, most guys suck as well. I never realized that, but I think that's me. I, I mans you. I mans ex mansplain a lot. I was gonna say, yeah, that is you. You don't necessarily get mad. I at me think though. it. No, I think if a guy's talking about like, let's say, I just hate when like guys are like talking about work, cocky, or yeah, or about work, especially when it's something that I seriously don't know anything about. Then you know it's really hard for me to like keep up, so I'm not interested. Yeah. But. Obviously, like, we're in a relationship, and I understand some topics that he loves to talk about, and I let him talk about it, and sometimes when I just don't feel like it, just I, just tell, I, just, yeah. I just say something, I just, I don't know. Like, okay, there But, like, came. there's stuff that I talk about that, like, you probably don't care to listen to. Yeah, but to I, so I like it when you're, like, oh, all passionate. Oh, me too, when you get, like, passionate, but just, like, some subjects that I don't, like, understand or know, like, mechanics or, like, yeah, stuff true. like that, I'm just, Yeah, like, but I'm good with explaining stuff like that. Yeah, It's yeah, just, yeah. like, it depends. Just, if I'm with other guys, not a chance. Because you love learning, and I'm, like, when you're trying to teach me something, I don't necessarily, like, I have to be in the mood to want to learn, so sometimes I'm just, yeah. like, don't even try right now. That's something I've learned over the years, just to kind of, like, I'm, like, okay, sometimes I just need to, like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I'm, like, damn, she's actually willing to learn. I gotta take advantage of this shit. Yeah, I get moved. All right, so I know this is going to seem weird, but how do you control your pee stream? It's easy as a guy, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure uh, it would be for a woman. Like, okay, I just let it come out like how it just wants gravity. to come out. You just gravity feed that shit. Like some, like You're I gravity can't, bleeding. Yeah, I 
I could I could control it, I guess, if I wanted to. You just take like a deep breath and just like not in it, it just comes out. I have bladder issues. Dude, guys there sometimes like I'll catch myself, I almost pass out. Like I'm just like I just gotta pee like so much and then I'm like I just wanna get it over with and I'm just like <laughs> fucking <laughs> This thing's like coming out like I could like poke some fucking eyes out with that shit. Yeah, I could do that if I wanted to, but I just don't. It's like water gun action, you know? Guys, we, we play a sport with it. Sometimes we'll like, we'll like fucking like, okay, like I can only, I can't hit the water. I can only hit the side of the bowl. Yeah, and that's why there's fucking pee all over the toilet. No, 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 not like the, it's, the pee splashes when we hit the water. Well, whatever. It's, or you get too high up on the bowl. You gotta like find that sweet spot. What kind of common behavior makes a guy seem creepy or unattractive? Like I said, I don't like guys. I I don't. I don't know if they're like cocky. That's just like an instant turn off for me, and it just. Makes sense. But yeah, that makes them unattractive to me. Like you can be confident, but like there's a difference between being confident and cocky. Big time. So I just don't like guys that are cocky. Like and show like, offs. Yeah, and like creepy. I don't know. I guess like some. I don't know what would make me like creeped out. Like unless you're like giving me vibes that you're gonna kill me or something like I don't know what would creep me out yeah if you're like stalking me like you know like if you're like following yeah that's like me, me that's like beyond the point yeah that's what I mean yeah but like a guy just trying to like I don't know I don't know what would creep me out because I'm like I'm like a hopeless romantic not gonna lie so like I like guys like trying to like chase after me yeah. like I like you doing that that that's not creepy to me yeah that's true so yeah, I know. But I can see like some girls will maybe fine. If a guy's too much, it might be creepy for them. Yeah, I feel like clinginess is like way too much. You probably can't answer this one. Oh, okay. But you you know people. Because I'm in a relationship? No. Oh. You know people like the... No, no, you can't answer this. I'll, you'll be okay. For women with pierced nipples. Oh. <laughs> if you get pregnant and start lactating, does the milk also come out through the holes of the piercing? Like the piercing holes? I don't know. I've never. I don't have um, those piercings. No, and uh, I know you know people, but they've never been pregnant before. So I don't. I would assume. I know you're no. supposed to remove them. Yeah, I know you're supposed to remove them too, because obviously it's not good for the baby, yeah. and it's. I think it's just not good in general. For you but like, in general, yeah. I don't know. I don't think so, because I think you're supposed to take them out maybe when you're pregnant or like close. So I feel like the holes would have closed by the time you're like actually breastfeeding. I don't know. If not, you know I don't how, think it would come out. You know how I imagine it? What? I imagine it because, like, I'm pretty sure milk only comes out, like, one hole of the nipple. I might be wrong. It might come out, like, with, like, your pores or something. But I'm pretty sure it only comes out of one. And then like, the fact that, like, the piercing's through it, that means yeah. there's technically two other areas now. No, so I know. That's getting, what I was, like, thinking. You're getting triple the action, you know? Well, yeah. actually, the streams will just be less streamful. Yeah, maybe. We just have to search that up. I have no idea. But that, that kind of If you got me pierced out. nipples, comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of grosses me out. I don't think I would ever. Oh, this is a good one. What? Do women get the pee shivers? I know sometimes I'll be pissing and there's an uncontrolled shiver as I'm finishing up. Does that happen with women at all? Like, like a, like a <laughs> you know? Like I'm that good to sensation. Think. Not, not, definitely not all the time, but I think like sometimes, especially in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, us too. Mostly in the mornings. Or like half asleep. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Like sometimes you just... <laughs> yeah. It just like hits that spot, you know? Especially like when you've been holding in the pee for a while. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Like so in the morning when you haven't peed all night and it just like comes out and mm. you get a shiver. I think so sometimes. Oh, this is a good one. How do men become friends with women? There are some women I've only talked to a few times, but I feel like we could have the dopest of friendships. Like, no romantic stuff or couple stuff, but, like, we can play Super Smash Bros. all day. Okay. <laughs> I think it also depends if you're, like, in a relationship. Yeah. Because then that changes things, but, like, let's just not talk about that part of it. Um, I don't know. I guess you just really have to be clear because girls might take it as if you're hitting on them, maybe, if you're... Asking them to Same thing with guys. Some guys really, like, that's why I'm saying treat them as if they're one of the boys a little bit. Yeah. Just to give And at the same yeah. time too, it's like 
guys, if a girl's being too nice to them, they might think there's Yeah, that's what I mean. Too. So I think vice versa. Yeah. So you gotta like Or just make it clear to them right away. Yeah. Just say I'm not looking for anything, but I would right love away. to to be friends and hang out or whatever. Good like time. don't let anything build up. And just keep it that just keep it simple. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. And you gotta have interests. You have to have similar very similar interests. Yeah, you know, so. and I think there's like so many different personalities out there. So like, because like we're in a cup, we're in a relationship, but like we're, we were best friends before we were in a relationship, really. Yeah. Like we became friends. We're still before. best friends. Yeah, we're still best friends, but I mean, like we were friends before we got intimate. Sure. You know? So it's like, it's true. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's that's it for today. We wrapped it up, and uh, I hope like, you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment down below, share the damn video. And maybe we can do a reverse part of this video where I Or I'll just do a part two of this because I got like a hundred more questions. <laughs> okay. There's so many on the internet. Whatever you guys want to see, comment down below. But anyways, we love you guys so much. And we'll, we'll see, see you guys, guys in, in the, the next, next one. one. Bye. Bye. Don't, don't play with it, don't be decisive.